So you might not know the MVP program, or you might know it, uh, but today on the IoT Show, we're talking about uh, what it entails for IoT developers and architects uh, out there to become an MVP, and how we are interacting as the Azure IoT team with the MVPs that are out there. This is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, uh, and today we have Renga with us today. Hey, Renga, how are you doing? Good, very good. Thanks, good. thanks for hosting me. Well, thanks for coming on the show. So uh, you are one of our PMs in the uh, business acceleration team yes. in Azure IoT. Yes. Uh, and here you're, here you're here to talk about the MVP program. Yes. It's one of the many things that you're driving. Yes, and uh, MVP program is very important, and yep. uh, that's one of uh, a part of my charter. So tell us a bit about this MVP program and how how people who are working in the IoT space can become an MVP, a Microsoft MVP. Sure. So we have uh, a larger MVP program for Microsoft, yep. uh, but uh, we drill down into Azure and then we have uh, IoT. Okay. And uh, what we have is we have a community across the globe where uh, people are recognized as MVPs for their work. Okay. Uh, and uh, there's a process of how you become an MVP. An MVP. Yeah. But uh, then there's something important you just say. It's something that is a reward for the work you've been doing around Microsoft technology at promoting them, using them, being an advocate for them, right? Yes. So the way the process works is it's, it's not a standard process. Okay. There are different things you can do. Some of the things, if you look at this slide, right, okay. you can actually contribute to the code okay. um, uh, on GitHub, etc., where mm -hmm. you can actually uh, be a significant developer contribution okay. uh, to Microsoft solutions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the places you can go and speak uh, in communities where you're actually evangelizing uh, Azure IoT, you're mm -hmm. an expert uh, yeah. on our products. Okay. Uh, and uh, there are other ways you can do, you can go to Stack Overflow, you can keep answering questions mm -hmm. where people are looking for uh, answers uh, to uh, problems okay. where you have already solved. Okay. Uh, so it's a combination of different things you okay. uh, contribute to the community, and uh, once you apply, uh, we go. You go through a process and okay. get the approval. So it has to be something that uh, you apply for, right? As or or somebody can recommend. Or someone yeah. can recommend you exactly. as well. Got exactly. Got it. Exactly. And okay. if you if you think that hey, this person is significantly contributing to uh, mm -hmm. Azure IoT, and they don't know about the program, yeah, uh, can they can just them. go submit or they can actually ask them to submit and they nice. can have evidence of what they're actually yeah. doing. Uh, that's yeah. a nice surprise to do to someone, right? Yeah, that'll be awesome yeah. actually, yeah. Especially if uh, uh, there's a leader out there and uh, they're not uh, going through the process of applying, you mm -hmm. can actually go and surprise them. Say, hey, by the way, I applied and uh, here you okay. go. Okay, that yeah. makes sense, yeah. that makes sense, cool. Um, the other thing especially I want to talk about is the MVPs itself, right? Before mm -hmm. we go into what Microsoft does, yes. I want to actually talk about what MVPs do for us, right? Okay. If you look at this slide, actually, um, these are some of the MVPs who are presenting at different places like Global oh. Azure mm -hmm. boot camps. They uh, bring people into meetups, uh, partners, customers, etc. And uh, they show off uh, the solutions they built on Azure IoT and uh, across the board, right? Mm -hmm. They could use... Uh, uh, different solutions like our central, or they could use our solution accelerators, or stitch together our platform services. Okay. And uh, uh, and one of the things, like I called out, right? It's a vibrant community. Mm -hmm. If actually they come to Redmond, and when you talk to them, they're so passionate, they're very collaborative, they're really wanting to know what's uh, ahead for them in yes. the roadmap, okay. and, and also uh, basically collaborate between them and with us. Okay, so there's a yearly uh, you know, exactly. checkpoint at Corp, right? Exactly, so uh, the one thing what we do is, if you look at this uh, quadrant mm -hmm. in general, right? Uh, so we have the MVP Summit. Okay. So we fly in uh, people uh, from across the globe. So if okay. you look at it uh, on the map, they're coming from everywhere. Okay. They're coming from uh, Americas, Latin America, Europe, Asia, etc. And okay. uh, it's a great week uh, to be here with the MVPs. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, actually have side meetings, you you get uh, direct feedback from them, you can bring in your devs, your PMs, your feature mm -hmm. PMs, so that they exactly know what the community is looking yeah, for. Yeah, because these these MVPs, they are in the field working with customers or themselves exactly. with our technology. They're our prime users exactly. of what we're doing, right? Exactly. And uh, if you look at it, right, what we have done uh, last year and in the past years is mm -hmm. 
we do sessions like we uh, we have like a couple of IoT sessions where we go through our yep. roadmap yep. across our product verticals. Mm -hmm. And I've seen uh, uh, sessions where up to 300 people <laughs> uh, come and uh, listen to us okay. and also give feedback. And it's a great feedback loop into our mm -hmm. uh, product and our uh, basically our backlog. Interesting. Uh, so that's one thing. The second is we have done workshops like we brought in MX ships, 100 people showed up and yeah. sat for five hours and we collaborated with Cosmos DB team. Mm -hmm. So we built an end-to-end -end solution from the device, connect to our cloud gateway all the way into storage. Okay. And uh, it was a pretty good experience. People were tweeting uh, how good an experience that was uh, okay. to work with live device and they take home the device. So <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's an incentive. Goodies is exactly. always appreciated. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and also what we have done is we have uh, like uh, Edge was uh, very hot uh, at that time in mm -hmm. March, uh, yeah. so Chipalo and team came in, they okay. had side meetings and got great feedback, they took it back. Mm -hmm. uh, and devs also come in and uh, interact with MVPs because that's they're getting like direct feedback and... That's, uh, that's really bi-directional. Right? Exactly, okay. exactly. Love it. And then what we do is uh, uh, the uh, PGI calls is what we call, it's a okay. monthly call, it's a product group interaction. Okay. Uh, so we do it in different ways. We uh, we could actually go and present a private preview uh, mm -hmm. ahead of mm -hmm. our public preview and mm -hmm. uh, get them ready okay. uh, to what they're expecting. Mm -hmm. Or uh, we have had uh, a feature PMs who joined the call and said, hey, by the way, we're trying to build this uh, and this is in our product backlog. Mm -hmm. What is your feedback? What do you think uh, could be your top features which we could include uh, into our uh, Product and uh, that's a great way to actually yeah. uh, get back. So we're uh, getting we're getting the MVPs involved in exactly. the development of the products, basically. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, love it. And then uh, we have Yammer, Yammer uh, site where actually okay. only MVPs uh, are allowed. Okay. So they can exchange. Uh, it's kind of like the closed room uh, where because uh, exactly. there's an NDA in place, so we can share exactly. with MVPs information that is not public. Exactly. These uh, are all M M and as long as they keep it for themselves, mm -hmm. and so that way we can inform them ahead of time, get the feedback, and so on. Exactly. exactly. Okay. A and uh, so overall, right? Uh, for us, uh, it has been a great program. We have mm -hmm. had a lot of uh, value uh, of what we get, okay. uh, like the PGI calls we do one for Americas and EMEA. Mm -hmm. On the same day we do for APAC in the evening. Uh, so twice, right? And we see uh, hundreds of people join. Okay. And then uh, their uh, tech, like on the chat, they put mm -hmm. in their feedback or at the end they ask questions and uh, well, it's a great value for us. Okay. Yep. Love it. So that's the program, right? Okay. And, uh, yep. How do you uh, how do you go about so so Ranga how do you, <laughs> how do you become an MVP? You're exactly. saying like you need to be nominated or to to uh, you know ask to be nominated. Exactly. So there's that site. Uh, okay. You can just go to the site and if you look at it, either you can uh, if you look at the bottom, it says myself or someone else. Okay. So you just pick uh, myself. Mm -hmm. The the one thing you have to do is uh, provide that evidence mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, show what you're doing for the communities. I've seen people like, uh, I interact uh, with direct messages on Twitter, yeah, yeah, etc., yeah. because they're giving feedback. Uh, okay. They've given great feedback, especially with our edge, mm -hmm. when it's going to GA. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're very passionate about building solutions around it mm -hmm. ahead of time, right? Uh, I've seen uh, people build solutions and uh, actually go and evangelize uh, with real devices running edge. Awesome. Uh, and yeah. it was really cool to see. Yeah. Yeah. And you were saying GitHub contributions as well, because exactly. the Azure IT SDKs, Azure IT Edge, Runtime, and SDKs and so on are all open source. So yes. they can go and contribute code and exactly. file issues. And, and exactly. And, and I've seen that, right? I've seen already like uh, uh, MVPs go and open issues mm -hmm. ahead of time on docs. So it's almost like they're doing bug bashes, they're doing doc bashes for yes. us. Uh, which we formalize normally, right? But they're doing it for us. Okay. And they uh, contribute in various ways. And I really love that community and this what they bring for us. This is great. Yeah. Love it. And uh, our leadership, uh, Azure mm. IT leadership and Microsoft leadership, mm -hmm. they are big into this program. Yeah. They really value this program. So, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, that's a great insight, thank Ranga. So we, we very much appreciate you MVPs were watching. Some of them were watching the show. Exactly. I know that for a fact. Yeah. Uh, and we want more of you guys to be nominated. So exactly. Go to that URL, which is yeah. on the website. Yeah. It's going to be in the comments. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Ranga, for this introduction. Thank you. And we want to uh, uh, increase the footprint so that we, we want more of them because we know they're there. And yes. um, uh, either you find us through Olivier's uh, 
a channel uh, and yep. uh, go nominate yourself or find others who you can be nominated. So totally. Awesome. Well, thanks Great. for watching the IoT show and uh, subscribe if you've not yet subscribed for the show. And Renga, I hope to see you soon here. Sure. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you.